This is assistive and adaptive bioengineered products, technology and engineering standard four. The first word we need to define is bioengineered technology or products. Okay? They are designed to change how an organism functions. Our next term we need to define is assistive technology. Assistive technologies are used by the general population to assist with a health impairment. And in just a minute, uh, we'll actually go through some uh, specific examples of assistive technology. Okay, now if you are a boy, I want you to put um, underneath assistive technology that you buy at Walmart. And if you are a girl, I want you to put that you buy at Kmart. Okay, and what I mean by this is assistive technologies are usually things that uh, you can buy at a, uh, depart a department store. Okay, and we'll look at those in just a second. All right, so for adaptive technologies, <clears throat> I've put a bullet here uh, because there's actually two ways to look at adaptive technologies. Okay. The first one of adaptive technology is that it has been designed and modified, okay? And I want you to underline modified or bold it, either one, okay? For a specific person with a disability, okay? All right, guys, so this means that it has been customized, uh, or personalized, all right? And that means there's only how many just like it. There's only one that is just like it, okay? So that makes something adaptive that's very different from an assistive, okay? An adaptive technology is not something that you can go buy at Kmart or Walmart, okay? All right, also an adaptive technology is when plants, viruses, or human genetics are permanently changed or manipulated. All right, in just a second, we'll look at some examples of these, okay? All right, so there is your nose, all your definitions. <clears throat> okay, now, moving on to your do. At the bottom, we're going to determine if each one of these are adaptive or assistive, and we're going to identify them. Uh, so the first one we have here is we have, what are these? They are glasses, all right? Um, they are assistive. And the reason why they're assistive is, can I get Wal uh, glasses at Walmart? Yes, I can actually buy reading glasses back in the department, or I can have my eyes examined and get glasses. Yes, they are made for me, but there is hundreds and thousands of people out there that have the same 20-200 vision that I do. Okay, so it's something that's more general. The general population does have uh, glasses or contacts. Okay, now if your last name begins with A through K, in the left lens of this picture of glasses, put a star please. And if your uh, last name ends, uh, begins with L through Z, in the right lens, put a smiley face. So A through K, last name begins with, put a star in the left. Uh, L through Z, right lens, put a smiley face. Okay, all right, moving on to our next picture. Here we have something called a cochlear implant. Okay, all right, now guys, this um, is called a cochlear implant. You need to have that written. But if I trace um, right here, and this is an outside view right here, uh, okay, looking at what somebody that has it looks like from the outside. They have a device um, that is right here that is attached to the outside of their head, and then they have a wire, a type of wire, okay, that actually goes inside of, um, inside of their head here, and it goes into the ear canal. And this picture is an interior view, okay? And this uh, helps people that have severe, severe hearing problems or someone that usually they don't hear at all. And what this device allows them to do is it kind of um, 
works as the ear for them, and it allows them to have some sort of, not what we hear, it's more of a mechanical um, hearing is what they say, but allows them to uh, be able to, when people speak, to be able to process what they're saying. It may not sound like a voice, it may sound more um, electronic, computerized, but it does allow them to um, have some form of hearing. It's a great device. So that's a cochlear implant. Can you go out to the store and buy those? Absolutely not. Okay. So this is an adaptive technology. It's something that has to surgically be implanted. Okay. The next one here we have is a contact. All right. It's just like a glass, uh, the glasses. It is assisted. Okay. And can you purchase it at Walmart? Yes. Does lots and lots and lots of people have contacts? Yes. Okay. That's why it's assisted. Okay. The next one we have here is a prosthetic limb okay and this one just has to be a leg all right um this one what would it be can you buy it at walmart the answer is no it would be have to be specialized fit for somebody okay so therefore it is adaptive all right the next technology we have here is is a type of genetic engineering okay and if you look at the picture, let me find something that's maybe not the highlighter that kind of wrote bigger than what I wanted it to here. Okay, what they do is they actually, step one, they take cells, they remove them from the patient, and then in the laboratory, it says uh, a virus is altered so that it cannot reproduce, okay? And then they actually insert a gene, and we talked about genes in seventh grade, into the virus, and then they expose the cell that they took from the patient in step one, and uh, they alter the virus and they mix it with the cells from the patient and it actually causes the cells from the patient to become genetically altered, okay, or genetically modified. All right, then they actually implant those back into um, the host or the human, okay. Uh, genetic engineering, uh, I had a word off the tip of my tongue. It was called something else, but it left me. Um, so that's okay, though. Um, Hopefully, I'll think of it and share it with you later. All right, so what type of engineering is this? This is def definitely adaptive. Can you go to Walmart and this happen? Absolutely not, okay? Um, so this is an adaptive technology. Okay, the next technology we have here, this is a wheelchair. And now, can you um, go out and buy a wheelchair that looks like this? Yes, Walgreens. Um, Walmart, Kmart, more than likely probably have a, a wheelchair that you can buy, um, if not a medical supply store. So it's something that the general population can get and use um, either for, when I see this kind of wheelchair, um, they can be long-term, but often um, they can be short-term for injuries. So we actually do consider these assistive devices. Now, here's a different wheelchair, okay? This is a wheelchair. It looks much different than the former wheelchair, okay? This one, if you look at it, it has a um, hand controller over here, okay? It's got a special neck support, okay? And this one has probably been uh, measured for a specific person, and it's created for a specific person, okay? Uh, it's not just your run-of-the-mill wheelchair, okay? So knowing that, you can't purchase this thing anywhere, okay? It has to be customized. So we would say that this is an adaptive technology. All right. Now, here is your everyday household. What? What is this? This is a remote. All right. Um, it is a technology. We don't think of it being an adaptive or assistive, but it is. It allows us to, um, we don't have to get up every time we need to change TV. Okay. Can you buy these at Walmart? Yes. So what type of technology is it? Is it an assistive? All right. So next, this is a funny looking picture, but this is a biofuel. If your parents or someone you know has a car that they say can run on E8, uh, what is it, E85 or um, ethanol, this is a type of a biofuel. And what they do is they take corn and they process it and they actually turn it into a fuel that they mix with gasoline, regular gasoline, um, and it allows, um, you know, we're not using so much fossil fuels. That's the purpose of it. Um, it's supposed to burn cleaner, I think, too, is another uh, benefit of biofuels. But biofuel, now, if you look back to our second bullet on your, at the top of, on the front side of your fun sheet, your second bullet 
That second bullet says when plants, viruses, or human genetics are permanently changed. Okay, so my biofuel, I'm going from corn to fuel. Can I go backwards? No, this is a permanent change. I can't take that ethanol um, and turn it back into corn, can I? So that's a permanent change. Okay, and that, of course, is going to be adaptive. Okay. All right. Also, here is vaccine is your next picture. Okay, a vaccine. All right, it's whatever vaccine, whether it's a flu vaccine, smallpox vaccine, uh, MMR vaccine, watch the picture is showing here. Um, this is a, a vaccine. And that also goes under that category when plants, viruses, or human genetics are permanently changed. Okay, when we're inserted with a vaccine, our bodies have a response system, and we, for at least a amount of time, hopefully will be resistant to whatever the vaccine is treating us for, okay? So we actually consider vaccines adaptive technologies. All right. Now, I have one tomato here that says organic. I have the other one here that says GMO. So I'm going to be talking about, not GMS, sorry about that typo, but I'm going to be talking about GMO, genetically modified organism. Okay, now a genetically modified organism, okay, has had its genes manipulated. They're the word genetics, okay? So if something's had its genes manipulated, and they do this uh, a lot in like corn and tomatoes and produce so that um, they can regulate, you know, that this particular gene helps it be resistant to, let's say, drought uh, or... Um, a certain type of virus or something in that instance. So anytime we go in and we manipulate the genes uh, in anything, it's a permanent change. So we definitely say that this one is adaptive. Okay. Alright, so this is a pair of crutches. Alright, crutches, can you buy them at Walmart? Yes. So what are they? They're assisted. All right, now this is a mechanical heart. Wow, can you go to Walmart and buy one of these? No, okay, it has to be designed specifically for a person in a lab. It has to be surgically implanted. Okay, so that is enough right there to make it adaptive. Okay, all right guys, this is the end of your fun sheet uh, over assistive and adaptive bioengineering technologies.